Hello, and welcome to Math Talk, where we talk with you about math. So that's how that title evolved, is it? I'm Buster the Parrot. And I'm Maria Lopez. And I guess you know who you are. Yeah, if you don't copy a friend's name off her homework. Buster, that's silly. I don't know. So I got my name. Has anyone called on the math phone? Probably not. But then I've been using it to order pizza for my party. Oh, you're having a party? Just a small gathering of 100 of my nearest and dearest friends. The thing is, I have no idea how much pizza to order. You might have to estimate. You mean guess at it? No, estimation is more than a guess. It's based on some knowledge of the situation. Sort of an educated guess. Right. Watch this music video with Kid and Play. They estimate by using rules of thumb. I'm out. Why? No thumb. Perfect location for kid and play. It's sunny, spacious, with one small quirk. It's a handyman special, so it might need a little work. Are you crazy? Your taste is unrelentable. It's gonna take a year just to make this look presentable. We got a problem, cause time is tight. I already sent out invitations for the housewarming party tonight. What? I can't believe you. First you get this place and you invite our people over for the night. Yo, 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 yo. I mean, it's a handyman's nightmare. Yeah, yo, play, you just don't see the possibility. I see the possibilities of losing all our friends. All right, I'm not gonna bug out. You're right, the place is a mess. Let's at least take the floor. We'll take a measurement and buy some paint at the store. But we don't have a yardstick, a ruler, or tape. So we'll have to make an educated guess and estimate. Somebody told me once a quarter about an inch wide. So if I put coins down side by side, we'll figure out the square inches of the floor of the stump. And we can buy the right amount of paint, thanks to a rule of thumb. Rule of thumb. Another rule of thumb, let you use your feet. Now a grown man's foot is about 12 inches long, so just step toe to heel and... Uh, now this is wrong. Uh, now wait a minute, I got it, I'm six feet tall. So we can use a rule of thumb to measure the wall. Cause from fingertip to fingertip is close to your height. So we can estimate the floor space. And we can party tonight. Why are you measuring the wall when we're gonna paint the floor? I don't wanna be rolling around on the floor. I can figure out the floor square footage this way. Six, twelve, three flips of six feet each make eighteen feet. Six, twelve, this wall's about twelve feet. Now let's figure the area. How much is twelve times eighteen? If I round eighteen up to twenty, that's twelve times twenty, which is two hundred and forty. We need enough paint to cover a two hundred and forty square foot floor. Better use two coats. That's four hundred and eighty. I generally estimate one gallon for 400 square feet, or a quart for 100. So a gallon and a quart should be more than enough. See ya! So, that's the story of my partner and me. And how this night party crib came to be. Now we can listen to the DJ and the big kick drum. And we'll dance all night and day. Thanks to rules of thumb. that a baseball bat is about a meter long? Oh. Yo, here's a cool rule of thumb. Your average slice of bread weighs about one ounce. That's right. Yo, play, check it out. Yeah. See, a dollar bill is about six inches long. Hey, that's great. That's a neat rule of thumb. Yeah, isn't it? Oh well. All in the math ringer. 
Hello, you're on Math Talk, Yertle from Myrtle Beach. Why were they measuring the walls when they wanted to paint the floor? They were measuring the length and the width of the room. I get it. The length of the floor is the same as the length of one wall. And the width of the floor is the same as the length of the other wall. Yeah, and you don't have to stoop down and get your knees all dusty. And the rule of thumb they used was this. Your outspread arms measure about the same distance as your height. So if I'm four feet tall, my arms from fingertip to fingertip will be about four feet long, right? That's right, Yertle. And then when they tried to measure the room by stepping off? That would have worked, too, if they had known the length of Kid's foot. I get seven claws to the foot. I noticed Kid and Play rounded the estimate up. How come? Yeah, how come? How come? Well, suppose they had rounded the estimate down. I queried first. I get it. If they rounded down, they might not have had enough paint to cover the floor. So they round it up because with paint, it's better to have a little too much than a little too little. You guys are pretty sharp. Here's a game from Square One TV called Close Call. It's also about estimation. Presently, a white smoke bursts from the forepart of the vessel. Some seconds after the water, agitated by the fall of a body, splashed the stern of the Nautilus, and shortly afterwards, a loud explosion struck my ear. I've just read the first paragraph on this page of Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. There are 173 letters in the first paragraph. There are 35 lines of type on the entire page. We want you to estimate how many letters are on the entire page. We've already asked our studio audience, and now we're asking you. Think about it. I'm Arthur Howard, and now I'd like to introduce my co-host, Louisa Lachin. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Hi everybody. Welcome all to... Okay. Now, Arthur, we have something interesting What's here. That? We had a tie in our audience between Linda Perez and Natasha O'Connor. Mm -hmm. Now, both estimated 1,550. We tossed a coin, and our studio challenger is ooh, ooh. Natasha O'Connor. Oh. <laughs> There are 1,540 letters on the page. Congratulations. Very good. All right, let's meet our other two contestants who are going to challenge you to a fierce game. Over here we've got... Morgan Porzio. Hi, Morgan. Hi. <laughs> and here, Brandon? Stewart. Hi, Brandon. Welcome. Now, as you know, we are awarding you points based on how close your estimate was to the number of letters on the entire page. So, Morgan... You made an estimate of 1,800. That gives you 30 points. Congratulations. You're on the board. Brandon, you estimated 1,473. That gives you 40 points. And Natasha, your estimate of 1,550 gives you 40 points. Congratulations. Well, let's go to the second round. Okay? Doors, please. Oh, Beverly. Okay. Hi, Bev. How you doing? Hey, I'm hip. <laughs> it took five oranges to fill this eight-ounce glass of orange juice. What we want you to estimate for us is how many oranges did it take to fill these eight pitchers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get busy at home and estimate your hearts out. Think about it. Let's see, there were five for the glass. How many for the eight pictures? Is it heavy, Beverly? Write your answers down. <laughs> oh, Arthur, let's see what we've got here. Morgan, how many oranges did you estimate? About 60. 60 oranges, okay. And Brandon? Maybe 510. 510 oranges to fill the eight pitchers of juice. And Natasha, what did you estimate? 320. 320 oranges. Well, Arthur! let's hear what our studio audience thinks. Okay. Yes, okay. I'm going to go over to the estimator meter, and when you think it gets close to the number of oranges in the eight pitchers, give out a call, okay? It's warming up. It's starting to move. Here it It 
took 395 oranges to fill the pitchers. Oh, 395. Okay, now Morgan, you had an estimate of 60. That wasn't close enough to give you any points, but you still have 30, and there's plenty of games to go. Brandon, you estimated 510 oranges. You get 30 points for that. Great. Added to your 40 you already had. I think you scored 70 points. All right. And Natasha, you estimated 320 oranges. That gives you 30 points. We add that to the 40 you already had. 470, a total score of 70. We have a tie here in the second round. Well, let's go to the third round. Yes, and we'll decide the winner of this game. Okay, let's watch the video screen. Look at these guys. They're frightened. They're yellow. You might say they're downright chickens. There are 11 little baby chickens inside this square. What we want you to estimate is how many chicks are there in the entire pen? 11 inside the square, the little square. How many inside the entire pen? Think about it. Write your answers down. I like that thinking. Yes. Okay, Arthur, let's see what we're yeah. doing here. Okay, Morgan, what did you estimate? 45. Yes, my okay, 45 chicks, all right. And Brandon? I estimated 135. 135 chicks in the pen, Brandon says. And Natasha? I, I estimated 190. 190 chicks. All right. Arthur, the suspense is killing us. I have the answer. There are 141 baby chicks in the pen. Okay, so Morgan, scores? yes, you estimated 45. That wasn't close enough to give you any points, but you have 30 points. Brandon, you estimated 135. That gives you 45 points. You came very close. Added to the 70. That gives you a total score of 115 points. And that is not chicken feed. <laughs> Natasha, you estimated 190. That gives you 15 points. Added to the 70 you had. That gives you a total score of 85. Brandon, you are a winner. <laughs> were your estimates close? Mm, a couple of times. Some of those were really hard. The letters were easier, because they were spread out kind of evenly, but the orange juice was tough. And those baby chicks were all bunched up. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry when I estimate from a jury. You're right, Yertle. Some of those were tough. Thanks for letting me talk on your show. Thank you for talking. Bye. Okay, Buster, how about this party of yours? Have you estimated how many pizzas you're going to need to feed 100 guests? Well, Harry the Hummingbird is coming. He couldn't do a slice in a year. Which guest eats the most? Orville. Who's Orville? A uh, pelican I go fishing with. He can eat four whole pies with anchovies, plus what he sneaks out in his pouch. And everybody else is somewhere in between. Then they'll all want different toppings. Maria, I estimate that this party is going down the tube. Mm. It's a tough problem, all right. Wait, I got it. I'll tell everyone to B-Y-O-B. B-Y-O-B? Bring your own bird seed. That way, if they don't like the chow, they've got nobody to blame but themselves. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a terrific host. Watch us again on Math Talk. Buster, you are a terrific host. Yeah. A terrifically cheap host. A pizza saved is a pizza earned. Square One TV Math Talk is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Funding for Square One TV Math Talk was provided by the National Science Foundation, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by annual financial support from viewers like you. To purchase video cassettes or a Math Talk teacher's guide, please write at this address.